hello guys welcome to serpent consulting services private limited it's so good to see you here here in this video tutorial we are going to talk about a website slider with text snippet module which you can find in the Odoo app stores with this link also you can directly search it for website slider with text snippet in the Odoo app store this is the price for the module so once you have purchased the module and you have it in your system you can go to local apps and search for the slider menu by the author serpent cs and you'll find this module website slider with text snippet click on it and you'll see it in more details if you want to see the technical data make sure that you have turned on the debug mode here you can see in the dependencies the website module is there so whenever you install this particular module the website module will be installed automatically and this is the index.html file explaining to you about the features and usage of this particular module so once you have installed this module you can click on the website button and you will be redirected to the website home page uh, here you need to make sure that you are logged in as an administrator user or you have the access right to edit the website then and only then you will be able to edit the website and make use of this particular snippet that we are talking about click on the edit button and you will see all the Odoo based snippet as well as the customized snippet if you have them here this one is the slide with text snippet that we have created which is a customized template now select it drag and drop it like this you can see the animation effect like this now some you can simply save it and there you have it. you can use it you can use this two ways you can simply just put it here like this or you can add more slide to it and make it a carousel like this this you can of course change the background for all the for the different slides maybe for this I want to put this maybe for this I want to put this one maybe for this I want to simply put this as you can see there are four slides here if I add one more one more dot will be added over here it's indicator as you can see I can simply click on it and it will take you take me to that particular user to that particular slide as you can see you can copy this simply it will be over here as well see simple like this you can delete it like this click on the save button and you have your own customized right you can see the effect of it being zooming in and out is the same for all the images see like this of course you can change the content changed header for this slide you can delete this one you can add your own message here this slide simple as that save it and that will be done see that content has been changed you can do it for any number of slides you can also put your own custom image from the system if you want to do that you can add a URL you can of course change the styling of the fonts you can remove the styling add a link for this if you wish to the same can be applied for this you can select the slideshow speed you can disable the autoplay as well you can remove you can remove one slide as a as well if you wish to you can see the indicator if I remove there are four indicators right now if let's say I remove this one slide the indicator will be three as you can see and the same way if you want to change the background color of the header you can do the same thing not only does it change the background color of the header also it changes the color of the light right and left side arrows like this okay so this is how you can make a use of this slider with text snippet module 
so that's all for now thank you for watching the video thank you for giving your precious time if you liked this module and if you like this video you can go to go to app store and purchase this module for this much amount if you want to find out more about the services and the products that we have to offer you can simply log into www.serpentcs.com you can drop an email to us at contact at serpentcs.com or you can simply contact us on any of these numbers so that's all thank you have a good day bye bye